Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Dave's Faves. I think we're up to number 116 or something like that. And my fave today is the music of Albert Kettleby or Kettleby or whatever his name was. His real name was apparently William Aston, but he became at an early stage in his career Albert Kettleby with an accent accent, accent grave, a grave accent over the, uh, let's see here, over the second E. There it is. Well, here it is. They left it out here on the front of the cover, and but you can see it there. See? See the accent? So what that means, I have no freaking clue. His music is delicious. He wrote salon music, music that you would hear in the roaring 20s at your local spa or watering spot played by a tiny little orchestra of, of miscellaneous instruments. And you just hear these wonderful tunes floating up at you. And, and, and here they are. They're absolutely amazing. And I love this disc. It features John Lanchbery conducting the Philharmonia with the Ambrosian Singers. Now, the thing about Lanchbury, some of you may recall, he's not much known today, but he was a wonderful conductor of ballet music, and he was well known for reviving all of these, along with Richard Bonning and people like that, but but he was known for rescoring, let's put it this way, a lot of obscure classical ballets by people like Minkus and stuff like that. And he couldn't do anything without adding a glockenspiel part to it or something, which may have been tacky or something, but is wonderful. And these arrangements of these Kettleby classics, you get, you get in a Persian market, in a monastery garden, you get Gypsy Lad, Chal Romano, yeah, yeah, in the mystic land of Egypt. The clock and the Dresden figures, bells across the meadow, in a Chinese temple garden, in the moonlight, and sanctuary of the heart. Oh my goodness, it is the apotheosis of absolutely fabulous kitsch. It really is. I just adore it. There is a tenor solo that is unbelievable in the mystic land of Egypt. <clears throat> it goes something like this. Oh, maid of beauteous tresses and eyes of soft caresses, your glance is so beguiling and your lips are ever smiling. <clears throat> I mean, it, you really just have to hear it to believe it. It's it's extraordinary. These are tunes that many of you will probably know, and you won't know where you know them from. That's what's so cool about Kettleby. He wrote really marvelous tunes. And, you know, it, it's just faux exoticism and shameless sentimentality and schlock. And, oh, my goodness, it's so wonderful. Now, there have been quite a few... Kettleby or Kettleby, I don't, you know, never mind. Kettleby discs out, but nothing matches the sheer glitz, glamour, and shameless heart on sleeve sentimentality as this disc with Lanchbury. Because if you're going to do this music, if you're going to do it at all, and there's some versions of like original salon orchestrations and whatnot, which are lovely, and there's a his, there's some historical discs on Naxos that are conducted by the man himself, I think. But if you're going to do it, if you're going to do it at all, you want it to be as as gussied up and shameless as you can possibly make it. And nothing is more shameless than this absolutely splendidly recorded, amazingly played disc conducted by John Lanchbury. If all that is left of his legacy is this one disc, then we will know that he was at least a master, an absolute master of the Salon favorite. And I got news for you. That's a pretty good thing. I'm telling you right now, I have absolutely no problem because, you know, at the end of the day, if you're going to do anything, do it well, do it the best. And if you do it the best, then it, it, it sort of settles the question of whether something's good, bad, or indifferent. It's just the best. 
I love this disc. And I think, I don't know if you can still find it. Um, it was reissued at one point on like Classics for Pleasure or some reduced budgie, you know, EMI label at the time. Um, it may be hard to find now. I don't know. But I do know that you should hear this guy's music. You should hear these little miniatures. They are the, the apotheosis of, of charm and a certain, a certain just innocent reveling in, in, in decadent fun, in my, to my mind anyway. I think they're great. And you will love them too. And I, I, I pull this out more frequently than I probably would want to admit to my friends. So keep on listening, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. My secret is out. Take care. <laughs>